Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have asked me how I curl my hair and get so much volume, so today's video is on exactly that. I'm going to show you what I do to get big, voluminous, curly hair and how I make it last all day. I don't use hair extensions and my hair is naturally fine and dead straight, as you're going to see. So if how I curl my hair sounds like something you'd like to know, just keep watching. So basically you want to start off by washing your hair and if you want you can use like a volumizing shampoo and conditioner. I don't, I just use whatever's in the shower at the time. But what you want to do is when you condition your hair, don't put any on the roots. Like when I put conditioner into my hair, I usually put it from like about here down. Just because I find conditioner or any like moisturizing product really weighs your hair down. So that's basically the opposite of what you want at the roots. And then I just let my hair dry naturally for a while until it's like half dry. And then once it's at this kind of half dry stage, I go in with a volumizing mousse. And then you want to shake it off and then squirt like a golf ball size amount into your hand. Oop. Ah. And then I sort of just put it into my hands and rub it into my hair. Because I have long hair, like I can use this much because I can just put it in through the ends. But you guys, if you don't have long hair, probably don't want to use that much. Really try and get it into the roots. And what I really like about this mousse is that it doesn't make your hair go crunchy, which I find a lot of other mousses do. Oh, I forgot to even tell you what mousse I use. I use the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Thickening Mousse. So once the mousse is all rubbed in, you want to go in with a heat protectant spray to um, help protect our hair when we blow dry it in a second. And I just sort of spray this everywhere, especially on the ends of my hair. Then I usually get like the brush side of my teasing comb and just brush everything through my hair. And I know people say not to brush your hair when it's wet, but YOLO. <laughs> I honestly don't think it makes a difference to my hair if I brush it when it's wet or not. Okay, then once you've brushed everything through your hair, it's time to blow dry it. And what makes a massive difference for me is instead of just blow drying your hair normally, you flip your head upside down and blow dry it that way. So, like this. Okay, then once your hair is all dried, it should look like this. That's a lot of volume. <laughs> I think I kind of look like Hagrid. <laughs> okay, so once your hair is all like this, ooh, ooh, you just want to brush out any tangles. And I use this Fancy Pants brush by Lady Jane, and I think it's got like these little ionic beads in it. Definitely notice my hair is way less frizzy when I use this brush compared to my regular brush. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but it does. I usually part my hair in the middle for my videos, but today I think my hair wants a side part. So let's just roll with it. Because whenever I get into an argument with my hair, it usually wins. Then to curl my hair, I usually use the Babless Pro Curling Iron. Um, I think this one is... 19 millimeters, which is three quarters of an inch. And I believe these are a bit on the pricier side. Like I think this one was about $100, but I've had it for six years now and it's still going strong. And I'm gonna switch over to a voiceover now because it's about 40 degrees in my town right now, which is way too hot to hold a curl. So I'm gonna to have to put my aircon on. And that's another tip for you guys. If you're curling your hair, try and do it in a cold room, so like in front of an air conditioner basically. Because once you let the curl out of the curling iron, you want to cool it down as quickly as possible so it doesn't drop. Okay, now on to the curling. So first off, I got lipstick on my pants, so I had to go change them. Now that aside, I start off by sectioning my hair into the layers I want to curl. Then I just grab a small section of hair and curl it all the way up to the roots and I usually hold it there for about 10 seconds or until I can feel the hair getting hot and then I let it go and move on to the next section. So I just keep sectioning off the hair and curling it in small pieces. And I just curl it in random directions until I get to the pieces closest to my face. 
I always curl those pieces away from my face just because I think it looks a lot nicer and then you don't have a piece of hair trying to be all up in your face. Then I'm giving the curls a spray of hairspray. The one I'm using is by Sammy but I got this so long ago I don't even think they make this anymore. And I usually use the John Frieda hairspray but I ran out and that stuff is expensive. So I'm trying to use this bottle up before I buy another one. And if you guys have any recommendations of anything cheaper but also amazing, please leave me a comment and let me know. Next, I do pretty much the exact same thing on the other side. This time when you get to this front bit, only curl up to about your cheekbones. This way you can still sweep your hair to the side easily instead of your hair curling in front of your face. Then you want to give this side of hair a spray of hairspray as well. And now, because I don't really like the whole tight ringlet look, I'm brushing out my curls. This is going to make them look a lot more natural and bigger and bouncy. And you just want to play around with them until they're the shape you want. Then it's time to go in with my secret weapon, texturizing powder. You can use dry shampoo instead because I think it has a really similar result but what you want to do is section off your hair just above your ears, sprinkle on a bit of powder and then work it into your roots. And do this in sections right up to the top of your head. Doing this adds a lot of volume to your hair because it stops the hair sitting flat on your head. You can also tease your hair if you want even more volume. However, I find I don't need to after using texturizing powder, plus teasing your hair is really bad for it and not something I would recommend you do often. So that's how I get my big voluminous curly hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any more video requests, just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys again soon. Bye guys! I think that made sense. And then once it's at this kind of half dry stage, what am I doing with my hair? Oh, uh, and if you tend, ooh. <laughs>